AMC has debuted its brand new trailer for the Walking Dead series called Ooh. The Ones Who Live. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to do the Rick Grimes one next or something. It like is that. the Rick Grimes oh, okay. one. Um, it debuted on January 10th. You guys can go ahead and check it out. It looked pretty cool to, to me. We got to see Rick Grimes and Michonne searching for each other in this like new kind of vibey world. It didn't seem like straight survival horror like okay. it has been. So it seems like they're going for a whole new vibe on the show. It's going to be six episodes long, and it premieres on February 25th on AMC and AMC+. Plus. Nice. Has Walking Dead ended yet? Walking Dead has ended officially. Okay. I gave up on it in, like, season five or six. I don't know which one it was. The ending was okay. Finally, zombies learned how to, like, run and climb. Okay. It took 12 seasons or whatever, or whatever it went for. But the zombies finally got smart at the very end, and then they beat them. Basically. All right. Uh, that's what I got for my name. Oh, actually, it's not. I messed up. We also have Robert Downey Jr. had an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, it was the Actors' Roundtable, which is kind of like uh, like the who's who just sitting there and just bullshitting and talking. Yeah. Um, they talked about how Iron Man was a second-tier character originally in Hollywood standards and how Robert Downey Jr. really helped bring it up and make Marvel what it is today. That's true. He really made Iron Man and started the whole Marvel Universe, basically. He really did. And, I mean, he kicked it off. But before then, you had crappy movies that I loved. But, I mean, you had the bad Hulks and things like oh, that. Oh, the Hulks were so bad. The, the original uh, Who was that? Jeremy? No, not Jeremy Renner. That's what I was thinking. But The one with the dogs. The yeah. giant mutant yeah, dogs. I don't remember what it was. It's terrible. It was terrible. so bad. But I loved him as a kid. You know, we got to see it. Um, and then he went on to talk about how the original cast getting together for a new Avengers movie or a new Marvel movie of some sorts, and how it's probably actually not going to happen. Uh, he's on board for it, but it's That's just fair. it's a money thing, a casting thing, a, a writing. He doesn't. They don't. They don't just want to be there for a movie that needs to be. Sure, Marvel's really fallen off since Endgame, the finale there, because now all they do is a series and. Then, when they do release a movie, I mean, last one they did that was big time was, what, Ant-Man, the Quantumania, and yeah. then the whole Kang thing was supposed to kick off, but then their actor for that got all that sexual assault stuff or whatever it was. and They've just, they've just been struggling. Yeah. yeah. Go back to DC now. It's time for them to shine. I'm hoping so. Finally. DC could use a good movie. <laughs> it's finally time for them. Uh, that's all I have for my nerd pop culture. All right, we got Halo Season 2 trailer promises the fall of Reach, plenty of energy swords, and more helmetless Master Chief, because that's definitely what we all want. Put on the suit. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the first season of Halo? I did. You Sean, did? Our, you think? the meat wagon, and I binge-watched the entire thing. And what'd you think? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty entertaining. The brutality was there. The fight scenes were there. Okay. I, I'll confess, I haven't watched it yet. I just, I like Halo, the video game. I just, I have trouble seeing how it's going to be good in the series. I, my, my big problem is Cortana doesn't live inside his suit. She lives inside of him. Interesting, interesting. Which is just a weird thing, because he was always taking her out of his suit, you know? Always. Yeah. Well, last year we saw a bunch of layoffs, especially with Bungie being one of the big ones. I think they oh, laid yeah. off like 600 or something like that, and... So we'll see how the Halo series does after that. But we have Unity is also laying off 1,800 employees, and Twitch is laying off 500 coming into the... We're in the first month of the new year. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with Unity, especially. They had some lawsuits, and after the sag Actra strikes and all that, it was AI voices and video games and stuff just kind of... I don't know. It's not really working out yeah. well for the actual actors when we could just get AI voices and make it cheap. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, the AI is super cool what it can do, so I get it. But at the same time, you need the real human touch in oh, yeah. it. Yeah, you really do. Uh, we also got Apple's $3,500 Vision Pro VR headset launches Woo! next month. This We reported on this way back when they first released the price for it, and we were like, that's ridiculous. Who's going to buy that? Yeah. This is essentially what they're saying is a VR headset that is a computer. Okay. You're just going to use your computer. You're going to watch TV through this thing. You're going to do everything in this headset. And then if you want to see the people around you, just click a button or something, and it'll like phase out, and you'll see everyone around so you. So it's like the, the phone to smartphone 
upgrade of yes. a It's going to fail this. There's no way anyone's paying that much money. Enough people are doing it to make it viable for Apple. To make good content for it. I don't think it's not worth the amount. It's just no one's going to pay that. Yeah. I'm sure mm. people will take parts of that put it into their own thing and this will head forward in VR where eventually we'll get cool. to that point where we're good with it but this is not where it's at. What was the movie where they used prisoners and they were in a shooter? I want VR. Oh, uh, that. The Gamer or something like that. Yeah, that yeah. was a good movie. With a uh, yeah, is it Gerard Gerard Butler, Butler, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. so good. I that was that really one. good one. Uh, last one I got is the first trailer for Netflix's Arcane season 2 just dropped. Uh, nothing huge coming out of it. All we got was a possible singed release, which singed okay. is the poison doctorish, crazy character in League of Legends. So right. we'll get to see him a little bit, and of course we'll have uh, oh, yeah. Vi and Jinx coming back for season two, and we'll hopefully get to see more of Jace and Heimerdinger coming in. Heimerdinger. Uh, I enjoyed the first season of that, so we'll see how the second season haven't, plays out. Haven't watched it, loved the game, so yeah. Singed coming in will be pretty cool. Yeah. 